Hey everyone, Tim and Bob from Bowhunter Planet. Welcome to Test Lab. Today on Test Lab, we are checking out the Bear Constrictor. All right, so unbox the bear. Um, straight out of the box, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty much ready to go. It comes with everything that you need for hunting. Why don't you talk a little bit about what it comes with, Bob? It comes with a beautiful illuminated scope, 4x32. It's a, a nice quiver. What Bear's done this year is they've top mounted their quiver. Instead of it being underneath the limbs and the body of the crossbow, it is now on top and it's got an adjustment so you can switch the angle up on the quiver depending on what you like. What else? It kind of, the bow comes with an adjustable uh, cheek plate, buttstock on it. This bow is just thoroughly unbelievable. It's, it, it's got sound suppression on it. Just an unbelievable crossbow for the, the money that you're paying for it. I yeah. think this is a, a $600 crossbow. It is, and I think that's what's really impressive to me is that for $600, you know, you, you get the quiver, which it, again, it, it's pretty interesting how they're top mounting the quiver now. Um, and, and it is in fact ambidextrous. It took us only about, I don't know, three or four minutes to get that thing on. Um, comes with three bolts right out of the box, nice cocker, top rail cocker, so there's no messing that up. Which way do I put the, hit, the, the hooks on it? Um, comes with the sling and comes with the rail lube all in one package. Yeah, just unbelievable. The trigger, the trigger uh, bear this year went with a trigger that has three inches of adjustment to it, which is nice as far as hand size and stuff. When you your hands on the, the pistol grip here, you can adjust that trigger in and out depending on where your finger is. Also, the the big thing with this bow is it is so compact. This bow, it's only 14 inches when it's not cocked. Yeah. And when you cock this thing, it drops down 10 inches axle to axle, which is extremely small for a crossbow. It is small, and what I like about it too is again, you can adjust that buttstock to the right length. So you got the you got the smallness in the front, so if you're hunting out of a ground blind or a tree stand, you got full range of movement there, just based on how small it is. Um, it's 190 pounds to cock, so we'll see how that works out. It, um, when we're gonna shoot this in a couple minutes, and they're claiming uh, 410 feet per second. 410 feet so. per second, which is plenty fast for anything here in North America. Africa, if you want to go to Africa, of, you know 190 pounds of so in addition to all those all the specs that we went over 10 inches cocked 14 inches un uncocked um, and it does have some good safety features as well we always like to focus a little bit on the safety features it's got the uh, the guard rails here for your fingers which is awesome they're nice and sturdy you know some of them can be pretty flexible but these are nice and sturdy pretty wide to protect your fingers there um, then it also has the anti dry fire mechanism so right which and, and anybody that watches our evaluations they all know that we're real big on safety features on crossbow we are we are so I'm interested to see um, you know a little bit more about what this bow can put out in, in terms of speed at 410 feet per, per, se per second we're gonna put that to the test here in, a, in just a couple minutes so why don't we get shooting here let's do it all right guys so here we go speed test the new bear constrictor uh, stock bolt uh, with the true X bolt straight from uh, bear let's see what it does 399 All right, so we just got done shooting the uh, bear constrictor. Um, you know, my, my first impression of it is, man, when it releases, you can really tell. This bow that it screams. Oh, man. It, is, it is definitely one, one fast feeling bow, This is one, for sure. This is definitely one of those crossbows that I would say has a slight recoil on it when it lets the arrow go. It does, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's definitely, you can feel all, all 190 pounds of that, uh, that draw weight. I thought it was going to be actually a little bit tougher than what it was, was the actual cocking. I didn't think it was it that bad. It wasn't bad at all. I think one thing that uh, everybody does need to be aware of. So with the cocker, it, it, 
it's really easy for you to forget this part if you just put this on here and try to pull it. Um, you gotta make sure that this is out of the way of the rail. It actually goes behind the scope on the loop and then fits on. Um, so I can see how easy it could be to actually accidentally cock the cocking rope. But other than that, I thought it was actually not bad. For 190 pounds, it was fairly easy. I bet you I could do that, you know, a dozen, couple dozen times without right. any issue, so. I found it comfortable to cock. Yeah. And like you were saying, if it isn't in this string groove behind the rail and you put it on the, the scope mount, you're going to tear the crossbow all up. Yeah, yeah. Now feel balance. Um, you know, I thought it, I thought it was very consistent. Um, you know, in regards to the, to the balancing of it, I didn't feel a lot of movement in there. It was actually pretty easy to hold. There's a lot of front weight to it, so you do feel, you know, kind of a little bit more in your forearm when when it comes to the front weight side of there. Um, but overall, the length was right for me. I didn't actually have to move the the buttstock at all um, to get the right to get the right look out of the scope. I was thinking perfect perfect bow for a, a ground blind, a box blind, uh, a tripod, a monopod. Yeah. I mean, you've got it. it, this is the bow to go with. Yeah, and speaking of that, um, you know, the grip on the bottom, the foregrip on the bottom actually is on a Picatinny rail. Right. So that is adjustable where you can move it, and if you do have enough space, you could potentially put a bipod um, on the front of the Picatinny rail, potentially. So this kind of depends on whether or not you're gonna have enough room when, once you get it in the comfortable spot where you're at. Uh, it came straight out of the box in this position. Um, I liked it, I, I wouldn't move it myself, but uh, I thought it was overall, um, you know, not a bad buy for $599. You so. can't go wrong for under 600 bucks. And Bear, you've definitely, in my opinion, you, you've hit a home run with this bow. Yeah, absolutely. Price-wise and the workmanship and the bow, yep. period. Yeah, and one of, the thing, one of the features that I do like to uh, look at in bows is whether or not, it seems kind of silly, but from a safety aspect, whether or not it actually goes into a safety position when it is cocked. And this bow does. Um, so when you pull the when you pull the cock the cocking rope all the way back, you will get this uh, firing pin to slide into safety. So um, really good design there. Some of the bows don't do that. Some of them you have to actually throw into manual safety. Manual safety. Which I, it just it, it's a little bit of a risk. One more thing to remember. So that just adds a little bit level of safety for me. So overall, great bow. Visit beararchery.com for more information.